He is not one of the greats yet. It's about titles. One, two, three. Can Curry deliver? You looked overwhelmed out there. Restless. Too small. Injected. Too flashy. Struggling. Denied. to the rim. Nice finish there from Curry in the game tied again. Your head down and making plays in that paint area. Curry to the basket. Floaters up. Rattles around and drops through for his second field goal. But again, they don't want to know when he's going to be back on the field, on the floor. He didn't travel with the team here for game six. He's back in the Bay Area getting treated. Like back at least proud of the way they won game five in Oakland. And they pull out game six. Curry gets to the basket. Nobody there. A wide open layup. Back to a two point lead. Curry to the basket. Nice soft bounce for Steph Curry. But anxious moments for the Rockets fans. So many on their feet right now. Curry launches a three pointer. Puts it in. Steph Curry from downtown. And the lead is five for Golden State. Curry on the drive, gets past layup, bank shot is good. Steph Curry coming alive for the second straight game in the fourth quarter. Curry with Tucker right with him. Curry launches a three, puts it in again. Steph Curry from downtown. Were you guys able to close them out? I don't know. We uh, we stay composed. We've been here before, won big games, done it on the road. We miss our guy and know he's going to be back. Uh, but we had to have his back. We talked about it all the time. This whole playoff run, he's been the best player in the league. And he's carried us. So the least we could do is have his back tonight, uh, move on to the next round, and give ourselves a chance to be a full strength the rest of the way. You had zero points in the first half. What changed for you in the second half, especially down the stretch? Just stay out of foul trouble. It's always tough when I, when I get in foul trouble and in and out of the game. Uh, but... Guys were talking to me in the locker room, telling me to you know, keep my head, stay aggressive. The floodgates would open at some point. And, uh, fourth quarter was amazing. We played amazing defense. Took shots we knew we could make, and, and they went in. So it's just uh, a big time win for us. You said guys were talking to you in the locker room. What were you thinking to yourself? If I could get on the court and just play consistent minutes, I'd, do, I'd be able to do something. Thank uh, you. Uh, thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the opportunity to be you know, somewhat healthy and be able to play this game and have you know, another opportunity in the second half to take advantage of the moment. That's, that's what happened. You guys were down by seven in the fourth quarter. It seemed like the defensive intensity just kind of went up a notch in the last four minutes of the game. Was that true? It's been like that the whole series. It's just a matter if we can convert on the offensive end. Our numbers in the second half defensively are off the charts. And, uh, we knew at some point in the 48-minute game we'd have an opportunity to steal this game, and that's what we did. And that left hand, like what happened with that? Did it affect you down the stretch? The same thing happened in game two. I just think we're still holding it right now. It hurts like crazy, but uh, thankfully I have whatever till Tuesday to, to get it right. Um, you know, keep moving. So try to block it out as much as I could. Congrats on the win, Seth. Thank you very much. Be one step ahead when it comes to seeing the game and to understanding what's going on and being observant. And if I can. You know, train my, my mind to to be there and to be sharp. You know, and to really push me to that next level. Then I think that's that's as important as you know being being physically ready as well. That means when everything's in sync and when I'm confident, the sky's the limit for what I'm able to accomplish.
There are a lot of benefits to the pod, uh, not only uh, physical, but also the mental wellness. It's the only place that I've found in this world that you can eliminate all, you know, all the senses, basically. To be able to try to master your thoughts, to be able to calm your, your body down and understand what it's like to truly be still for a little bit with our, our crazy paced world that we live in, um, you rarely ever find you know, an opportunity to do that. In order to deal with the pressures and expectations in my line of work, I, I really rely on my preparation, both physically and mentally. Having gone through amazing successes, but also major defeats, the one thing I can't rely on is kind of my will to, to get back you know, to that level. The one thing that your mind can do is help you remember um, all the lessons that you learned throughout the course of your life and, and those ups and downs to help you become better. The biggest way for me to uh, to train my mind is to get away from all the stresses that I um, have to endure on a, on a daily basis. You know, hanging out with my family, um, playing golf, you know, just getting you know fresh air, riding my bike, things like that to clear your head and to get a, a different perspective can hopefully you know change how you see you know the daily stresses that you deal with as you go through whatever you have to go through. It's sometimes crazy to think how much you deal with on a daily basis when you can be able to get away from those stresses and just decompress, gain, a, like I said, a, a fresh perspective about you know, who you are as a person, what you're trying to achieve in life. It has such a huge force on you know, the physical makeup and how you feel on a daily basis, um, your energy levels, all that, and, and you can be, you know, be at your best if your mind is at its best.